The surveillance video shows the young man dropping from a rear area of the plane. Then he's walking erratically on the tarmac. This is at the Maui airport on April 20th, just after this 15-year-old Somali immigrant claims to have stowed away on a Hawaiian Airlines flight for five and a half hours inside the plane's wheel well. I think it's really quite remarkable that, A, he survived uh, such an incident, and then he's able to get off and really walk away. Wheel well stowaways normally don't make it. Out of 105 people who've tried it, 80 have died, according to the FAA. The cold and lack of oxygen at cruising altitude can be a deadly combination. Now, police in San Jose, California, where the plane took off, tell CNN they want to interview the teenager and may charge him with criminal trespassing. And serious questions continue to be raised about security at San Jose International Airport. It is an egregious violation of the airport's uh, perimeter. How egregious? The young man's believed to have hopped a fence at that airport shortly after 1 o'clock a.m. and stayed on the airport grounds for more than six hours without getting caught. At airports like that, what is the security layering supposed to be? Your first layer is a physical fence. Your second layer is video surveillance. Then you go into vehicle patrols, roving patrols. You go into airline personnel, airport personnel that are on the tarmac themselves. They've all been trained in security, all trained for uh, looking for suspicious personnel. But according to the TSA, there's no surveillance video at the San Jose airport showing where the teenager went over the fence. Former TSA official Chad Wolf says this is a complete failure on all levels of security, and he says terrorists study these gaps. Experts say anyone accessing a passenger jet with even a small amount of explosives could rupture the fuselage, as this demonstration in the U.K. shows. We contacted the San Jose airport to respond to the criticism of their security. A spokeswoman there said since the stowaway incident, they've changed their operational and staff procedures for perimeter fence inspections. She said they're also waiting for some recommendations from the TSA. Wolf. And we're also told there could be some very serious long-term, short-term medical ramifications for this young 15-year-old. There really could be, and this is what we have to watch out for. Two security experts told us that this teenager could have brain damage uh, because of the lack of oxygen that he had to have had endured at cruising altitude. We asked the San Jose police about that. They said they are not allowed to discuss his health condition right now. We do know he's in the custody of Child Protective Services in Santa Clara, California. Hopefully we'll know more about his condition soon. And you say the family originally came to the United States from Somalia? That is correct. And he was apparently thinking if he became a stowaway, he could get, a, get back to Somalia? Was that his thing? He has told authorities that he wanted to go see his mother in Somalia, but what's interesting is he also said that when he got on the tarmac at San Jose, he didn't know which plane was going where. He just went to a plane hoping it somehow could eventually take him to Somalia. He was a pretty confused kid.